Welcome back to Inside. I'm here with Martin Fisher from Science Central. You brought something pretty cool today. I did. Electricity. I figured today we're going to delve into the physical sciences, and we're going to use something known as a Tesla coil. All right. How many of you at home have heard of Nikola Tesla? Ooh, not too many. I see people no, shaking I, their heads. I, no. no. I have not. But if I were to ask how many of you have heard of Thomas Edison, Oh, look at that. Yes. All those people all are shaking their head. Yes. 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 So Edison and Tesla, they were around the same time, contemporaries, but they didn't agree as to whether we should use AC, alternating current, mm -hmm. or DC, direct current. Turns out Edison ended up winning, but Tesla, who had this machine, which was an alternating current machine, he invented this weird looking device, and it's called, appropriately enough, a Tesla coil. See, that's the cool thing in science. You invent something and it they gets name named it after, after you. you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I love it, I love it. So what it does is it shows us that something will produce electricity. It will have a current, a spark, which is a flow of electrons. So I have three rulers over here, a metal one, a wooden one, and a plastic one. I'm gonna turn on the machine. I'm going to move the metal one Actually, I'm gonna have you Ooh, move the metal one okay. around the top in a circle. If we see a bluish spark go up towards the metal, we know that metal is good at conducting or attracting okay. electricity. So let's turn it on, you can hear it with the microphone. Now move it a little closer, kind of move it in circles. Oh, yes. Hopefully if I get a dark background, you might be able to, yeah, there I we go. See There's it. that yeah, blue spark, yeah, yeah. excellent. So we see electricity, a spark, that means we have a flow of electrons. Think about it, electrons, electricity. electricity. Sure. Now we're gonna go ahead and try the wooden ruler. And people at home, think about it. Is it going to attract or conduct electricity? electricity? Give you a moment to think. Eh, time's up, now let's find out. We'll turn it on. No. Nothing. So the wooden ruler is an insulator. It doesn't attract those electrons. Next, we're going to go ahead and try plastic. plastic. Think about it at home. We'll turn on the machine, move it around the top. It too is an insulator. It does not attract electricity. And, and these are all things we thought we knew. Probably thought at yes, home. Yeah, that people, yeah, they probably yeah, got it yeah. right when they were thinking about it. Now, we're going to try <laughs> us. <laughs> all right, take your finger, fold it over. Don't worry, I'm not going to turn it on very much. I'll, I'll do it first, that way you'll see how to do okay. it. Okay. Remember to move your finger around the top. Now it tickles a little bit, but you can see that purple spark. That means that we, humans, are very good so at conducting electricity. So should I take my ring off? It won't matter, you can okay. use that, that finger. Although if you have hairspray in, it's gonna burst into flames. Excellent. No, no, I made that up. Because there's a lot up. of hairspray going All on right. here. All right, let's go ahead and see whether you're a good conductor of electricity. There we go. I am, and Perfect. it does just tickle. Yeah, it's not, it's not yeah. bad at all, it doesn't hurt. Now, I wouldn't want to turn it up, of course, but man, it wouldn't feel And I would not want you to turn it up, yes. So is this something we can see at Science Central? It is. We do demonstrations in Science Central every single day on the physics and science of electricity. School groups can book it as a field trip. Families can come in on Saturdays and Sundays to be able to see it as one of our public demonstrations. Here's one of the other cool things. Not only do we have electricity there, but there's actually an electrical field all around the machine. Tesla studied that. So I have a light bulb over here. You hold it. I'm gonna turn on the machine. Ooh. And it's glowing. Look at that. Wow. It is not plugged I'm, in. And I'm it not, is not I'm wired not to the wall. That's so cool. all around the machine. In fact, if you move it around, up the front, in front, the side, it's still glowing. That's so that cool. electrical field in it extending around the machine. Tesla studied that and he thought that we could be great sources of electricity. Which is That's true awesome. For lighting a house. Lights on. The problem is if you have these in your neighborhood and you turn off the Tesla coil at the end of the evening no lights. or the day, yeah. lights off. Science is so fun. You make science so fun. Get to Science Central, check it out today. It's for everybody, younger kids, older kids, adults. Everybody will love it. We'll be right back.